Hi, my name is Paul Abernathy, and I'm the manager of codes and standards here at Encore Wire Corporation. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about thermoplastic wire. Now, we make a thermoplastic insulated conductor called THHN, but it is also quad rated. And what does that mean? That means that the THHN is also rated for THWN-2, as well as machine tool wire, MTW, or T90, which is used in Canada. So that's a quad rated conductor. Now let's talk about what THHN is. The T stands for thermoplastic. It is a polymer material that is extruded over our conductive medium, which is the copper or aluminum, and it adds that insulation protective value to heat, and it's rated at 90 degrees C. That's what THHN means. The T is thermoplastic. The two H's means high heat. So for electricians and engineers, that means they can start their adjustment and correction process from the 90 degree ampacity table in the National Electrical Code. That's a big deal for engineers and electrical contractors. Now, what does the N stand for? That's nylon. So we put nylon on top of the insulating material. Remember, nylon is not an insulating material. It's simply nylon there to add for protection. And in most applications, it's sacrificial. So if it cracks or comes off, it doesn't have any effect on the insulating value of the conductor. Also, remember that if it's an oil and gas environment, you want that nylon to stay intact because it does add that gas and oil property. Next thing we want to look at is what is THWN-2? It's still thermoplastic, but it only has one H. That one H means you start from the 75 degree column for engineers and electricians when it comes to ampacity adjustment and corrections. However, you'll also notice there's a dash two on the end of THWN. That means that it can be used the same way as THHN was used in a dry or wet location. It can start from the 90 degree C value within the National Electrical Code. Now, what does the W mean? Well, THHN is for use in a dry location only, and raceways outside or in the ground are considered wet locations. So, because of its mutual rating, it can also be THWN-2, which is rated for a wet location. So, you can use THHN in a dry location, you can use THWN-2, which again is part of the quad rating, in a wet location as well as a dry location, both of which can start their adjustment and corrections from the 90 degree column within the National Electrical Code. Now, one other thing to look at is that machine tool wire application, when you're dealing with that, in many cases you can use it for internal machinery wiring up to 105 degrees C. And the T90 again is used in Canada. Now, the nylon is being sacrificial, but it also adds an element to reduction of coefficient of friction. It means with that nylon, in conjunction with our super slick elite that's applied to all of those products, it allows for a lower resistance and less friction during the raceway pull. Now you can use THHN, THWN-2 uh, in all types of raceway assemblies from rigid metal conduit to intermediate metal conduit to even tubing systems like EMT. You can also use it in products like FMC, flexible metal conduit. Now we use our THHN, THWN-2 as a core product for all of our cable assemblies that we make here at Encore Wire. Now THHN is available in sizes 14 gauge through 1000 KC mil in copper or eight gauge through 1000 KC mil in aluminum. Now, all of our thermoplastic products, our THHN, THWN-2, are VW1 rated and IEEE 1202 rated, which many people refer to as an FT4. But in reality, it's UL 1685 method two. That's flame tests that require to be done on all products that might be used in cable tray applications or were requested by the electrical contractor and the engineer. So, for more information on our products, Feel free to visit us at EncoWire.com and contact your local EncoWire representative today.